you can see that in part A of question 10, I've obtained the answers as x equals 70 degrees and x equals 160 degrees. Let me use the graphical calculator to confirm these. I'll use option 5 for the graph function menu and I'm first going to key in the function sin of x take away 25 and if I select execute the second function is y equals 1 over the square root of 2 so that's 1 abc square root of 2 if I select execute and f6 to draw okay now what I notice is at the moment my graph is in radians mode but of course my answers are in degrees and so if I select shift menu I get to the setup and I can scroll down until I get to the angle menu and I'm going to use F1 to change that to degrees now when I select execute and F6 to draw all that's happened is that the calculator has switched to degrees mode but I clearly need to change the scale I'd like to be able to draw the function for x between 0 and 360 degrees so let's change the V window settings and I'll make the minimum 0 and the maximum 360 now in practice you can make the values for the x min and the maximum slightly smaller or bigger than the minimum and the maximum but if I select these to start with and then execute and then one more time finally I select F6 to draw okay this is clearer now and so if I select G solve the points of intersection should be the solutions that I obtained earlier so I select F4 if I wanted the Y intercept but in this case I just want the intersection so that's F5 and the first point is X equals 70 and remember this is in degrees so that corresponds to this value and if I scroll to the right I get x equals 160 degrees which is the second value so the Casio graphical calculator confirms the same answers as I obtained in part A in part B I have to solve cos of 5x equals minus a half and you can see again in the range between 0 and 360 I obtain the following answers x equals 24, 48, 96, 120 and 168 degrees ok let's use the Casio graphical calculator and I'm going to use option 5 the graph function menu first function I'll key in is cos 5x and if I select execute the other function I wish for is the other side of the equation which is minus one half and if I select execute and F6 to draw ok now you can see there are several solutions this time I'm interested in the points of intersection again so if I select F5 for G solve and F5 again for intersect the first one I obtain is 24 which corresponds to this value down here and as I scroll to the right 48 96 120 168 now there seem to be more solutions natural fact if I scroll to the right I get 192 240 264 312 and 336 so there are actually further solutions so the using the graphical calculator has helped me pick this up and so certainly it turned out to be a really t useful tool especially in part B of this question.